Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching another episode of CPU, which is short for Chris Perillo. You decide what the U is short for because you are the only U I care about. And I also care about... Thrones, yeah! Game of Thrones, yeah! Game of Thrones, freaking Game of Thrones, freaking Game of Thrones, freaking Game of Thrones, freaking Game of... For those of you thinking that I was simply going to coast through this video, you are partially correct. Eight times over with these eight Game of Thrones house coasters. And at this point, I need to ask you, which house are you? Go ahead and leave that as a comment for this particular video, and if you're asking me which house I am, I think everybody already knows the answer. Here's the mother of dragons that the mother of my daughter gave me for Christmas. See, she's got a dragon on her shoulder. It's removable, too, and I don't think she breastfed. Oh my god, can you not see the title, Chris? I'm supposed to be talking about the Game of Thrones pop-up book. Because yes, there's a Game of Thrones pop-up book, and it's not for kids. This was an amazing gift from our friends Jasmine and Slav, and each page opens up to show you a different part of the Seven Kingdoms. With all sorts of informational flippy-flappy bonuses, too. I've yet to find a better or more three-dimensional way to explore Westeros. And while I wouldn't say it's as comprehensive as the original book, it's a lot of fun to read. The paper sculptures are quite deep detailed from all sides. This is Winterfell, and don't worry if your name happens to be Jon Snow, you can take this as an opportunity to finally know something! It even includes the Oath of the Night's Watch! And watch this! Shaka! When the walls fell! Yes, I know. Wrong fandom. Even though this happens to be the final page of the book, it's just the beginning of the pop-up book experience. If you have a wide enough area, and you likely do, you can expand the entire book's contents to be seen all at once. Learn the history of Westeros and the Seven Kingdoms, from King's Landing all the way to the Wall. Learn about faith in the Seven Kingdoms, too. There's never really a good time to get into Game of Thrones, so long as you get into it sooner rather than later. It's not too difficult to do, because you can binge watch previous episodes. To my knowledge, I haven't owned a pop-up book in quite some time. It's not that they don't make pop-up books, but I haven't really found one that I would want to have. The art in this book is about as good as you could expect it to be, and I found that the publisher did a fair job at engineering the paper in such a fashion that when the page was open, the structure properly got erected. Be warned, however, if you get a rip or a tear in the wrong place, the pop-up book will lose a little bit of its flair. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, if you know of one, or if you're about to become a fan. Go ahead and pop over to the link I've provided for you in this video's description to get your own pop-up book. Can you believe I got through an entire video without once mentioning Lego? Oops. Well, this is not really Lego. Officially. Nor is it really Game of Thrones. It's Dragon Sword Fighter Force. And that's not George R.R. R. Martin. Since the Lego group is likely never going to produce an official series of Game of Thrones sets, Citizen Brick stepped forward and made their own. Kind of. Again, you kind of got to use your imagination since these are not officially licensed and not in any way associated with LEGO or Game of Thrones. But for a fan of LEGO and Game of Thrones, they are perfect collectibles. Brace yourselves. Spring is coming. And with it, new Game of Thrones episodes, at least for now. But as much as I'd like to continue to talk about Game of Thrones with you today, I've got to head off to a wedding I was just invited to by another family. What could go wrong? At this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.